Hey guys, Mark Lassane here. I'm going to show you how to replace the pull cable on a Garmin Force trolling motor. Here's all the tools you need. A little Phillips screwdriver and a pair of needle nose pliers. So let's go ahead and get this done. First off, there's a little clip up inside right there. So all we're going to do is we're not going to pull this out yet because we need to pull the trolling motor up. But there's a little clip right here, and there's another little clip in the handle. So let's go ahead and pull this trolling motor up. Pull it up. Just going to prop it up a little bit. And usually I'll put something up underneath it just to hold it up. Our handle is held on with two small Phillips screws. So we're going to take those off. I already loosened up one of them. And they're really tiny screws, so make sure you put them somewhere where you're not going to lose them. Like right here next to our handle. So we get the two screws out. Then there's a cap, and then there's a cable and a washer on the inside. So we just pull this clip. Pull this clip off, put the clip and the washer and the handle, all that, maybe you can't see that. But see, we put that all that together. So now we know right where it's at. Now we can pull off the other connector. So we'll just lift up the tone roll a little bit, pop this out, pop this one out, put it there with the rest of them. And we just pull this back. We just take our pliers, Just gonna snake this around where we get to it. We take our pliers and we pull the cable through. It's pretty easy, just pop it right through. Then we're gonna put our pliers back under here to hold the trolling motor up. Now you have a fat end and a skinny end. The fat end goes onto the trolling motor and the skinny end goes to the handle. So that fat end won't fit through here, so we have to snake it through the other way. So we're gonna put it back through this hole, let's look. So we put it back here through this hole. And then if you look up inside here, there's another one we missed. And there's another one, it goes right there. So you just kind of push that through a little bit. Now we got it set up and now we're gonna lift the troll motor up again and put it through the other hole. It's right here. All we have to do is lift it up. We can use our pliers. And just put this right through that hole there. Put our pliers back under there to hold it up. Now, we're going to take this end here and put it onto. There's a little pin up under there. So you see the pin? Now we just have to slide the cable onto that and then we'll twist it around to where we can get the cotter pin in. So I'm gonna do that. Can't do it and hold the camera, so okay. Now we have this set right in here, just like that, holes on the top. Then we'll take the pliers and we'll put that clip right back in. Probably have been easier if we had two sets of pliers or something else to hold the trolling motor up. All right, that one is in. Now we're to put the handle back on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this back through here like this. Put the washer on. Put the clip back through the hole. We slide it up. You see it has a little slot right there where this all fits. Put the cap back on, put the little screws in. And Okay, 
there we have it. It's all done. All done, ready to go. So the reason I had to replace this cable is because I didn't lube these little latch bars here. See that? There's one here. There's also one in here. So if you don't lube those, it gets stuck and you're going to you force, you're going to forcefully pull on that troll motor cable. And that's what caused this to kink up here. It's me pulling on it and caused it to break. So I had to order a new cable and put it on. So keep these lubed in your troll motor cable. You probably won't ever have to worry about replacing it. That's it. That's how you replace it. It's easy. Like most of the Garmin things, pretty squared away. Hope you enjoyed that. You have a great day.